Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. Fourth grade, here is your problem this week. Okay, we can see that it's a two-parter, part A and part B, and part A is connected to part B. They involve the same situation. That's how a two-part problem works. All right, before we go ahead and tackle this together and I model and walk through my journey, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and show your journey, show your journey on paper and then join me when you're ready to check your work. All right, fourth grade, welcome back. So it says, part A says to drag the correct values into the area model, which is down here, to show the work for 47 times 31. All right, so dragging. Now, as you can see, I am marking up this printable copy just like you might be doing too. But for most of us, when we take the fast math assessment, it's going to be on the computer and you will have the ability to click something and drag it where it needs to go. So we're going to practice that today the best that we can, just using a lot of our imagination to imagine that it's being dragged, drug, I don't know the verb tense there, that it's being moved over. So we've got the area model down here. We've got 47 has been broken into 40 plus 7 and 31 has been broken into 30 plus 1. Awesome. So let's take a look at what would go into this one right here. Okay. We would have 30 times 40, which is what? 1,200. So this one right here, if we could click on that, and drag it where it goes, it would go right here into this one, right? So 1,200 or 1,200 as it's being represented there. Now let's take a look at this one right here. We can move to any box next. That would be 30 times seven, which is what? 210. So we would click on our 210 if this were a computer-based test and drag it into the box. So we're just going to place it there. 210. Excellent. Okay, now let's move on to how about this one down here. That would be 40 times 1 or 1 times 40, which is what? 40. So we'd grab our 40 and move it in to get 40 right there. And then last but not least, we have one times seven or seven times one, which is seven. So we would take this seven, click on it and drag it to where it needs to go. There we go, okay? So that is how we would drag the things. And you can see over here, we have three and 30 that are still left as choices that were not being used and that's okay. But essentially we just wanted to practice how to drag pieces over where we need them to be. Part B says find the product of 47 and 31, or it says the product of 47 and 31 is, and we have a drop down menu. So we would click these two little lines and it would drop down this menu right here. And we have to select the correct product. Now the product is the total when you multiply. So we've done most of the work in the area model. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that so we've got 1,200 plus 210 plus 40 plus 7. If we add those together, we get 1,457. So we would go ahead and select this one, and it would show up right here. Okay? 
Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable in all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.